Hi, I'm Barry Rabner, President and CEO of Penn Medicine Princeton Health. Today, I'm pleased to announce that as the number of cases of COVID-19 across New Jersey has continued to decline, the number of patients with the virus at Princeton Health has significantly decreased as well. This is due in large part to our community for continuing to self-isolate and practice safe social distancing. We are proud of our outstanding physicians and staff for their compassion and dedication during the pandemic. At Princeton Health, our top priority is protecting the safety and well-being of our patients, staff, and the community. For instance, Every patient who comes to the emergency department receives a mask and a screen for COVID-19 symptoms upon arrival. We have a separate waiting area for any patients with symptoms to keep them separated from other patients. In addition, all our emergency department rooms are private and isolation precautions are in place. Patients who are suspected of being infected do not share rooms or bathroom facilities with other patients. If you are having symptoms of a possible heart attack, stroke, or another serious condition, do not hesitate to get the care you need. Call 911. Do not let fear prevent you from seeking care. Over the past few weeks, we've begun to resume non-emergency surgeries and outpatient visits, gradually facing in many of the elective procedures that were delayed when the outbreak began. If you've been putting off an important appointment, test, or procedure, Rest assured, we are doing everything to help ensure your visit to Princeton Health Medical Center and our outpatient sites and Princeton Medicine Physicians offices are safe. Princeton House Behavioral Health is also taking a comprehensive approach to keeping inpatients safe and are providing outpatient visits virtually at this time. If you have any questions about how to get the care you need, talk to your healthcare provider about your options so you make an informed decision. Now, more than ever, it's important to resume your preventive and routine care. After all, these directly affect your health and well-being. Here are some of the protocols we've put in place to safeguard our patients, visitors, and staff from any potential exposure to the coronavirus. Every day, all staff, providers, visitors, and vendors receive a health screening, including a temperature check and a series of questions prior to entering the hospital. Anyone who has symptoms or a temperature of 100 or greater will not be permitted to enter any of our facilities. All staff, providers, patients, and visitors are required to wear a protective mask at all times, except when eating or drinking or when inpatients are alone in their hospital room. If anyone does not have a mask, we will provide one. Clinical care providers follow safety measures in accordance with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the New Jersey Department of Health, including wearing personal protective equipment, PPE, to ensure care is provided in a manner that promotes safety for patients and themselves. When a COVID-19 positive patient is discharged from a room, regardless of their location in the building, we perform a full cleaning and disinfecting between patients. This involves cleaning and disinfecting of the walls and ceilings, as well as more detailed cleaning of high touch areas or potentially infectious material exposed areas, such as beds, chairs, trash cans, and toilets. Additional hand sanitizers have been placed throughout Princeton Medical Center and Princeton House to make it easy and convenient to practice good hand hygiene as recommended by the CDC. Waiting areas have been reconfigured so that patients can practice physical distancing and are cleaned several times a day in accordance with infection control guidelines. And our environmental services team disinfects high contact services, including doorknobs and elevator buttons, several times a day. Before invasive procedures or surgeries, patients have a COVID-19 test 24 to 48 hours prior to admission. If a patient tests positive, a decision will be made between the patient and their surgeon regarding the safety of delaying the procedure. We are also limiting visitation because controlling the number of people in our facilities reduces everyone's risk of exposure to the virus. At the same time, we've been expanding our telehealth capability, enabling patients to talk with their health provider over a smartphone or computer. We've been bringing many of our award-winning community wellness programs online. 
to give more patients greater access to the health information they need. Finally, we've instituted a new registration and check-in process that is designed so that patients can complete many aspects of the registration process online, such as the completion of forms and payment of copays. Our goal is to provide patients with an easy and convenient experience that involves little or no in-person contact. Thank you again for all you've done to help slow the spread of COVID-19 in our community and for the tremendous support you've shown our doctors, nurses, and staff during this pandemic. We are all in this together.